Hello everyone, Duke here with part 10 of this Austria campaign, Napoleon Total War, and we are at yet another battle outside Istanbul uh, with the uh, stubborn, unrelenting Ottomans once again attacking Karl von Osterreich uh, at, outside the city. Uh, they're being reinforced by a good... Um, Oh, quite a, a new, numerous reinforcements. I mean, they're reinforcing armies at 1800. We've managed to take out quite a lot of them in the last battle, in the last episode. But we are once again fighting yet another 18 pounder. I'm hoping that if we take this out, we might have cleared out most of the cannons. But I can't speak for this army standing here or the next lot of men to be recruited here. Um, the Ottomans have played a fantastic game. They've slowed me down every step of the way, bought themselves enough time to keep recruiting men. Their movement range did surprise me here, especially the cannon. They managed to move very far indeed, um, which I did not count on. So Archduke Cole might be in trouble here, but we do have uh, some, I forget their name, Johan, I think, up here who can come and continue the war. So let's see how well we do here. Not a terribly great army from the Ottomans, but th what they have now is just sheer numbers compared to us. So let's get going. Thing is they are attacking this time again. So we can position ourselves back. We kind of know what direction they'll be coming from this time as well, because uh, it's what, if we're saying again that they're coming from this side, then we uh, guessed last time that they'll be coming from this direction. So we'll deploy accordingly. And we will deploy, let's unlimber all the cannons. Let's put some there, let's put some there, let's put them there. So any units that come in front of them, I think they should be able to see. Uh, I might move this unit up a little bit. Maybe it's about there. Um, yeah, let's just hope that they do come from that side. And let's put this meteor unit there. Uh, put this one in there. Right, so that's them deployed. So now we need to put one, two, three, four on this side here. And we need to put this four on this side here. And then we've got some cavalry, which we'll have to spread out once the battle starts. It does look like we're corner camping. I'm actually going to spread out. Um, it's just I'm, I'm deploying like this because we have an enemy coming from this side, almost certainly coming from that side, so we want to be ready. So, uh, yep, the reinforcements coming on. Uh, where are they? Yep, just as we predicted. Now, they shouldn't have any cannons in that reinforcing army, so that means that it won't be able to barrage us for miles and miles away, like last time. Uh, yep, we just got a bit friendly fire there. I should have moved these guys first, but... Hindsight is 2020. Let's go. Let's move up. Right, there's their cannon over there. At the moment, behind a slope, so I don't think it can even see us, so it's actually kind of neutralized itself, which is perfectly okay with me. Let's stretch out the cavalry a bit. Oh, Archduke Charles is going to be exhausted. <laughs> And his army, after all this. Alright, what we can do... I think we need to use canister where possible, because... Um, it saves men if we try and let some of our cannons do the heavy lifting. Or let our cannons do some of the heavy lifting, I should say. Yeah, the cannon doesn't seem to be having much luck reaching us. I'm not complaining. Okay, I'm going to get this cavalry around. I think we'll probably be engaging... Oh, good shot. Um, in melee, sooner rather than later. Because they have more guns to bear in each unit. Right, excellent, we got the first shots off. I'm going to get the cavalry around the side here, and then I'll run and, and try and wrap this up really quickly on this side. Let's have this unit support by firing on this... Uh, auto unit. Yep. 
few kills, not many, but some. Right, actually I'm going to pull this back. But I will send them in like this. Ooh. Very costly for the Lancers there. Alright, let's turn and face them. You guys turn to... We've got to deal with these horsemen. Oh no! Who's in the way? How annoying. That's it. Well done, guys. Right, you guys continue on take out that peasant level unit. You guys keep firing that. Firing. You guys keep firing that. We I. There you go. Um, I'm so stressed I've turned Irish. Right, let's keep fighting them. You guys, yeah, sort of fire in that direction. Uh, you guys come this way. You guys make a square as well. And you, why not? Right. Yeah, good stuff. That unit's done. So I like the square now. Fantastic. Right, excellent. Let's try and make those guys properly great now. Like shatter so they don't come back. Right, I'm just going to pause, just sort of assess what's going on here. Because. Yeah, we've got action in two separate places at the moment. So, yeah, not much to do then. We'll just keep firing. Their direction. Oh, come on. Will you shatter? Come on. Uh, this is one of those times when a unit just will not quit. Yeah, I want to try and bait this cavalry unit into an attack so we can form squares and deal with it. Alright, you guys can come out of square. I can't get this unit to shatter. I don't think we're getting many kills on it. But let's get this cavalry unit out. They're in trouble now. We can go and try and deal with that cannon. Looks like they're running. Yep, they're not in is it formation. Oh, no, too late. Cavalry spotted a, a ruse. Right. Right, that's the first army dealt with. Got another one after that. Right, if we can deal with this cavalry unit separately over here, that'd be even better. Um, Alright, let's form a square then. I think they are coming this way. You guys form squares too, just in case. Cannot keep up this unit, it's all over the place. Yeah, I'm going to keep chasing that unit down so it doesn't come back. Oh, I think we've ruined our own square then. Hey! General was one of the first to die in that unit. That's handy. Right. Fire this unit. Right, you guys form a square. We've got time. The enemy cavalry cat infantry isn't here yet. That's them gone. Excellent fight. Stop. Stop. You guys come out. The men are fatigued, sir. I must yeah. rest. Go chase away. down that unit. That unit. You guys all form up into a line again. You guys that square. Okay, that was the first wave dealt with. Now we just want to take out this cannon, and I'm going to destroy it, so it's definitely not coming back again. Right, they're going sort of all in on that flank, which is a bit nerve-wracking. Let's... We can move some men over here from over here, can't we? Because they're all finished fighting. So I think we should move some more men over there. I don't think there's going to be enough time to limber up the cannons and move them over. I'll keep those where they are. Right. You guys. Round shot. Fire it will. Try and take out some of these oncoming units. Yes. Okay. 
kill them. Oh. Yeah. I'm going to try and concentrate fire on one specific unit. So let's fire on this horse unit there. And let's really make sure that this cannon's not coming back. Look at that. Got a lot of uh, hits in the hills. But, all right. Yeah, they positioned badly. They did what we did in the last battle and positioned accidentally behind a slope. Right. These guys. Yeah. Keep, keep coming. I might swing them back a bit. Let's try and bring them more in range of our cannons. I'm going to bring this unit back because it's, it's looking to be standing in front of the cannons now, which is dangerous. You guys can stop and avoid that. Oh no, I'll tell you what we can do. We can pull it back. Same with... No, that will stay there. This unit I'll pull back. Oh, I wish they'd just default to running. Right. Oh, yeah, I'm going to stop that unit. This, These guys can keep firing. I'm going to get some cavalry over here. The men of fatigue, sir, must rest a while. I'm not running a holiday camp here. All right. Yep. Keep killing them. I really want them gone. I don't want that cannon coming back into another battle. All right, excellent. This one's nearly arranged. Let's get the canister ready. Nice. It's taken quite a lot of losses already. We like that. Right, I'm going to just smash into this little unit here. Right, let's focus on that one now. You guys canister ahead of you like this. Right, looks like that cavalry unit's got the attention of these infantry, so I'm going to pull them back. Right, just run in. I think the cavalry can support now. Yeah. Let's just take these guys out ASAP. Fast is the word today, guys. Glorious victory, sir, is soon to be yours. All right. Oh, look at them all clump together like that. That's devastating for Canada to fire into. Do it again. <laughs> right. Yeah, excellent. They're going back. All right. Everyone run back a bit. Especially the cavalry. Ah, no. Yeah, get back. That unit's able to fire on us just in the range, which is annoying. over here. Alright, General, you come a little closer over this way. Archduke Charles is such a good general that he really inspires, like seriously inspires nearby units. Um, so I think we want to make advantage of that. If, if we can make them have really low morale and give us good morale, it might make them even more nervous to fight because they might think, oh, these guys are up for a fight and we, we really aren't. So... Okay, I can't keep micromanaging, so I'm just going to target the units themselves, even though it's not the most efficient way to do it. Right, are, these, are these guys firing? Yeah. Yes. to charge in. Yeah, our accuracy is just very bad. There we go. That should 
that would definitely break them. Oh, yeah, this is interesting. Yeah, I, I gambled on leaving this flank unprotected. And it's not paid off entirely, because they are coming on from that side. Alright, uh... Ah! These guys, fine. Okay. It shouldn't be too hard now. I think they won't last long if they get into play because the odds are so against them now. And they have to come on because they're the attacker. So I'm going to start firing this direction. Ready. I'm not sure which unit, reinforcing unit, is their general. But if it would even say. So I don't know if we've taken him out yet or if he's still alive. Right. Nice. Oh, that was quite devastating. This unit's too far out of range. I'll have them fire round shot on that. Okay, you they're all out of range again, so. Okay, they're coming on. Right. Send these guys in in a sec. Nice, that's them gone. Okay, whew, that was close. We're all under control now. These units over here, and that should be it. Well, oh, we didn't take nearly as many losses in this battle as we did in the last. That's really good. Right. These guys are ready to fire now. I'm hoping these guys aren't going to come back, because that would just be... Oh, they did. Look at that. Right, let's deal with this unit, then. Ah, they... They are stubborn, the Ottomans. No, I quit just like that. They'll keep fighting. Right, they're off, though. That's good. Right. Do your worst. Ah, missed. Come on, guys. I'm about to send these guys in. Getting a little bit dicey. That canister went right over their heads. How annoying. <laughs> go, 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 fly. Right, that's good. That's broken them nice and quick. Guys, fly that way. You guys, fly into this unit. Okay, that's it. I'm going to end the battle there. Uh, because I don't want to destroy too many units in case they get replaced with uh, armed citizenry. So I'm going to end the battle there. Heroic victory. I would certainly take that. That is... Yeah, we did not take many losses there. Yeah, 163. You spread that out amongst 19 units. That's about not even 10 men a unit. So I will, I will definitely take that. And look how many men they lost. And they are down to... Yeah, they actually have a smaller number of men than us now, technically, in that field anyway. So, 
Okay, just clear the space up. It's back. Opportunity to intercept. Oh, fantastic. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to do this because if we can take out this unit, in case this unit, this city, re recruits more reinforcements into this army, it'll be better to take these guys out in detail. So I'm going to save the game. Oh, well, we need it as episode 10. And yeah, we'll even look at that. So it hasn't actually fooled up to the top. So that's as many units they can have. So it'd be good to take this one out now. Because I was worried that this might be, like, they might be able to have a potential of 20 armed citizenry in here, but they, they can't. It looks like they're capped at about 12. So there's no harm in destroying this unit then. And if we take this unit out, then yeah, all the better. So let's, let's do it. And they're the attacker, because we're intercepting, they're sort of walking into us. Okay, that's interesting to know. If you're intercepting, it doesn't mean that you are the attacker. Okay. All right, let's... Well, I've got a nice little slope here I think we should use. Yeah, firing down into that little slope would be devastating against their infantry. Let's put some in there. I'm going to try this uh, city on the right, kind of... Um, block that approach, so to speak. So we can try and encourage them to come on to our cannons. Hmm. I've got enough men there, I think, for that. Now, one, two, three, four. Put those guys along here. I might put these Jaegers here in the town. What I might do as well, I might put the stakes uh, along here, just in case. And then I might even put the Jaegers in there so they can snipe. On my far, let's put some cavalry out. And the general, you know that. They haven't got any cannons, which is fantastic. Right, let's start. Okay, so they've got one unit of reinforcements coming in from over there. Okay, so we don't even have to worry about them sneaking up behind us. That's very nice. We've got a nice little mound there that can provide a natural defense on our left. So let's form up about this way. You guys get some oh, stakes down. And where's their cavalry? It's over there. All right. Can we see it? Yeah, maybe we try and get everyone to fire on the cannon. Because cavalry just makes it the best target at long distance. They're easy to hit. Don't know why, they just feel easy to hit. Right, might, we might hit a Jaeger or two. Where are you going? Okay, you guys stop firing. The Jaegers are going a bit delally. Don't really know what's happening there. Ah, oh, never mind. Okay, I'll tell you what, we'll put the stakes in front of this part of the army instead. Don't know what happened there. I tend not to occupy buildings in this game like you can there, because I find the melee doesn't really favour the defender. I find I take a lot more losses in whole fighting for buildings than I would otherwise, so I don't do it. Some might have completely the opposite experience, but that is my mind with them. But I'm actually see this high ground to try and bait them closer to our canister. Can't be over there. Okay, not getting many hits on their cavalry, unfortunately. Put your stakes down yet. Good. Should keep that cannon safe on cavalry at least. Then we'll put you back. You guys can fire again now. You can fire on that unit for me. 
Yeah, you've got a good line of sight. Right down that road. Yeah, good shot. Shoot bats in a barrel here. Might be time for cannons to see. Yeah. Okay, one more volley of cannon fire. Boom. Ah, oh, all the times to miss. Right now, fire cannons. I think these guys can fire cannons now as well. So can you? So yeah, fire right into that unit for me. Okay. Yeah, they've got really good range. They can, sh they can shoot us from there, but we can't shoot them. It's annoying. Okay, then. They are moving a little closer. Though. That's good. Yeah! That's it. Oh, oh. Hey, you must get into all these pieces. We like that. Ah, we are taking a little bit of fire here now. Don't like, don't like. Good, good, good. Hanging on, they're really hanging on. Very well just have been peasants these. Oh no! Square. Right, whether or not this is my decision, time will tell. Oh, these guys, they just will not quit. There we go, finally got one of them to go. Right, let's not have to charge that unit now. Ah, oh, man. There was a lot more units over here than I thought. I thought... I this isn't good. This is bad. This is really bad. Right. We're all in there. We have to throw everything into it now. Except for you. You guys come back. Uh, you guys start firing round shot at them. Oh, I've marked out this part of the flank. I... I didn't see all these units here. I thought everyone was coming on this way. I'm right, about to pull everyone back. Yep, let's pull everyone back. You're no match for those peasants. Get them back. Yeah, this might get these units totally killed, but as that was teaching me from my mistake. Let's try and get these guys over here into canister range. That's it, guys. You got to get out of there. You will lose that fight easy. Okay, I'll tell you what, you guys turn around and go fight then. You guys try and support from there with some canister shot. Um, yeah, this is just wasting their time, so I'm happy with that. Round shot there. 
glorious victory, sir, is soon to be yours. Yeah, perfect. Look at that. They deployed right there in front of our cannon. But we are. Ah, oh, they're just out of range. We can't actually see them. They're, the slope's too uneven. Yeah, we're not getting many kills there, unfortunately. Oh, brilliantly done by the AI. The AI in this game is so clever. I hate it. Okay. Fine. It's read the terrain perfectly, though. Look at that. That's a terrible. Ugh, oh, come on. Uh, I've lost these units, unfortunately. This has jeopardized the invasion. These peasant levies, they're not dying. All right. Yeah, the whole army's remobilized as well. All right, you guys fire at will. Try firing them as well. Yeah, but I went to the hill. Yeah. I'm gonna walk these guys around, see if we can hit that unit in the rear. This is going so well, I don't know why I thought I should go into a melee. What was I thinking? I got a bit cocky. I got cocky after the last battle, I thought I'd be best. <laughs> I did not. Right, you guys, you're not in game combat, so you can pull back. Alright, getting a few kills in this unit now, that's good. Ah, look at that, they're throwing the whole way at this really weak part of, all, of the uh, line now. You guys get back. <sighs> Help us get there. Okay, you guys. Canister on them. On them. You guys get ready to fire on them. Nice, got a few shots on them. Yeah, I'm pulling these guys way back now. These guys can keep peppering the enemy from here. Oh boy. Okay. Ah, nice, they position themselves just outside the range. You guys, cannon shot. Try going for that unit. Alright, you guys, we're back. We're just going to keep giving ground on this flank now. There's too many enemies. Try and get them to move towards our cannon. Maybe. Yes, perfect. Oh, good. Now we're not hitting our own men. That's good. Yet yeah, focus on that one. Good, that's clean. That's half strength now. Fire on this one now. Yeah, you can't fire on that one. There we go. Got a couple of kills. That's good. But one of my cannons exploded. Ah, uh, this isn't good. Oh, whew, that's good. That's good then. Yeah, fire into this unit from the rear, that's good. Nobody too fast if this unit takes losses. They've completely circumvented my stakes, which is annoying, but also very clever. Can't deny. Ha ha ha! Right, who did that? 
That was very good, but you did take out a lot of my men, so not happy about that. Oh, I forgot to make that one a square. I focused only on that one. Look at that brilliant move. Went exactly for the unit that could not take this. But I keep saying, the AI in this game is intelligent, man. I'm a bit annoyed about that. Took out a lot of our own men there. Yeah, that's all friendly fire. Man. Might not be. I don't know. Right, we're going to set up here now. Right, you sweep in and attack that unit. We could try fire in advance, even though it's not really all that good. Ah, that doesn't matter. They've broken. Oh. And that, as I say, is that. Yeah, let's run down some of these units because um, they might come back for the final assault in Istanbul. Close victory, yeah, that was my decision on that flank there was pretty bad. But most of the other units stayed intact, so yeah, enemy killed, blah blah, blah. they're down even more. Oh, that completely destroyed that army. Oh, but they're sending in another army. Please don't reach us. I wouldn't be surprised if they did, but look how far yeah, look how far. Okay, that's really good. That means yeah, power feeble. We have really hurt them now. Uh no. <laughs> but Oh, Gibraltar is in trouble. Right, we're just going to withdraw. That's oh, look, we get a little sneak peek at their navy, though. It's not... The, oh, look, they're Santissima Trinidad. Um, is, yeah, 140 gun ships. So that's massive. And they've got a few big ships, but... I don't know, they're mostly merchantmen. So it's not it's not impossible that one day we um, field a navy somewhat strong enough to deal with it. All right, merchant house has been built in the Balkans. Fantastic. But our economy is drinking, so that's not good. All right, Austria and Bohemia have recruited artillery. That's good. All right, we'll deal with all that in a sec. Oh, yeah, no, here's an important thing. Armies don't replenish unless they have a general in them. Um, I forget that. I did forget that in that instance. Um, but that's okay. I'm not using these. These are spares. So. Okay. Oh, they are recruiting, but they, they must not, this must not be the turn that they would get those units. <sighs> Guys, this is going to happen. Look at that, we've got a famous battle there. Battle of Istanbul for the Ottoman Empire. Halil Baghdadi. Oh, look, even more artillery. How have they done this? Hopefully, we'll never have to worry about that army, and that will free this army up in a bit. Right, let's have a little look at what we're going to deal with if we attack Istanbul. Okay, the odds are looking very good indeed. We can't demand a surrender because it's their last settlement. We have the artillery advantage. This is basically their, those peasant units we've been fighting, that's them. And we have armed populace. Oof. We do have cavalry though, which is fantastic. And we can go all out in this battle. I.e. we can take as many losses as we have to, to do this. So I'm going to take this. I might even sack it afterwards to get a real nice bit of dollar. And then I'm going to give it to Greece. Because I don't want the Ottomans to survive. I don't want them coming back. I think it would be better if we just give this to Greece. So, yeah. I'm just going to show you the situation. Um, yeah, Greece exists here. And if we give them this, that's an Orthodox nation. That's an Orthodox nation. So they should have quite a bit of good kinship. The Ottomans will hate everybody. I think it's only inevitable that one of our allies will declare war on them, if not the Russians. And we'll have to break an alliance with them anyway. We won't get the region. I think we better to give it to Greece. It'll be a lot more stable. So it'll look a bit weird on the map, but I think it's the most sensible decision. But we've got a win first. There's no saying we've done this yet. So let's go. Ali Naili is the man charged with 
guarding Rumelia. Okay. Now we have cannons as well, which is our adva big advantage. I think we've got some clear line of sight. Up there. I wonder if I should try and concentrate our... This will be a really good natural defence, actually. Doesn't mean we can't fire long, but... I think it would be nice to keep our cannons kind of concentrated down here. This is a nice flat land for the most part. Got one unit. There. One unit there. That's what you guys dealt with. I should have merged these units, I think. These units here, most likely. But uh, I didn't, so... There we are. Oh, man. We are really going to have to <laughs> hold fast here. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Excuse me. Um. Yeah. Uh, th yep, there's another one. They're going to think they have no more cavalry and no more cannons. We've managed to see an end to all that, at least. And we do have four units of cavalry. Badly beaten, they may be. Uh, we don't have to worry about the general getting hit by a cannon, so that's good. We've got some Jaegers as well. I might send those guys. Um, I might get on this flank. Okay, let's go. Right. They have to come on to us because... Well, they don't have to. They might even sit sit pretty for a while. But we have cannons. Uh, have we got any kills yet? Yeah, some. Right, fire that way. Yeah, let's try and soften them up for the most part. With artillery at first. And we have these guys that can skirmish. So if we, Oh, good, they are coming on. Actually, I don't know if that is good or not, but it, it, it certainly is what's happening, that's for sure. So... Yeah, these guys have come on, but it does mean we'll be able to bring our canister to bear. Which we are going to want for this, because we the canister will act as extra support for our infantry. Which we are sorely lacking it now, just because we are so exhausted. Look how beleaguered this army is. You think how much fighting it's had to do to get here. These are six panels. Imagine we have some twelves in this army. Ugh. If only. That would have made this whole thing a lot easier. I've got two twelves. Okay, we've had... Yeah, maybe we have four twelves instead of two twelves and a six. Because look at the range of the canister. Pants. Okay, I'm just going to start firing them. Yeah. I get the cavalry busted over here. Right. You guys get ready. Right. That looks like a nice tight group of men. Fire canister them into to me. Still no. Okay. Here they come. Spot. Oh, no. Spy this unit here. This is probably going to have to fight for its life. Come on. More units, come on. More bodies. Alright, what's going on over here? Oh, we didn't get any shots off in the end. That's a shame. Okay. Alright. Charge in. Get the cavalry up to support. Cavalry, go hit that unit. All right, excellent, the center's broken. We'd love to see it. I'm not stopping firing yet. I'm going to keep firing into them. You guys can turn around and fire this way. And if this cavalry... Ah, I need to make them run. That's right. 
Alright, now turn, hit these units. One, good. Please, keep. Right. Right, you guys join the melee. Alright, come on. Let's not leave anything. Let's not leave anything. What's the word I'm looking for? Looking for? Just, yeah, put, put your heart and soul into this, guys, basically. Because. Oh, wait. Oh, man. My cannon is soon to be yours. Alright, try and shatter these units. Try and make them not come back. Alright, we're going to have to. <sighs> Dang. Alright, they're shattered mostly, so. That's fine. Might get these guys in my as well. Ah, right. Everyone back. You guys round shot there. You guys back on your cannons. Ah, that unit is fighting hard. Oh, nice to make that unit, great. Great. Lovely, jubbly. Right, you guys form up as well. Good, they're broken. Right, form up again on your lines. Right. Yeah, fire into the uh, closer groups. Yeah, I think we've got this. See if we can take this unit out with most of canister, I think. Oh. Probably should have formed these guys up. These Hungarian fusiliers have really had a rough time. Excellent. Oh, if you can make them shatter, even better. Well, if we can kill him, that would definitely spell the end of his battle. Nah, I won't charge just yet. Right, excellent. That's this flank completely wrapped up. Let's send these guys down to harass them. You guys... Cannon into them. Bit friendly fire there from our cannon. Let's pull back. If I didn't know any better, I'd say that cannon was aiming for my. <laughs> Man, that was a that was plumb on my unit. Right, that's it. Just fire on this unit. Yeah. Come on, we just need a break, and that's it. They are fighting to the last. We are taking down Homeland, their capital. But even so. Okay, good, they're off. Right, let's get these guys flying around shot on the general. Everyone here. Just get ready to fire onto this unit. Good shooting, guys. Oh, what am I doing? <laughs> oh, I oh dear. Let's get you out of there. Oh, yeah, they didn't get any shots off because they're a lay, so that's fine. 
Good, that's that unit dealt with. That's that unit dealt with. That's it. That is Istanbul done. That is the Ottomans out of the war. <sighs> Blooming heck. That was exhausting. I'm mean, in the battle, best believe. Don't need to run anyone down here. <sighs> it's not even like a relief. It's, it's just exhaustion. It's not even... I feel like... Um, like celebratory or anything. I just feel like, thank goodness, that's over. Um, yes, yeah, so we've got all our units intact. Archduke Charles has done it. He has managed to crush all resistance along the way and reach the Ottomans. Um, yeah, I lost another 335 men. That's 1,630. Took out 4,800 men there. Very nice. Okay, so we we'll could liberate and we'll make the Ottoman Empire again. I'm not... Tempted. Look at the money we're going to... I just can't resist this. Come on. We have to do that. We have to loot this building. This city. Get that money. And try and get most of our building done. And then we'll give it to Greece. There's no point liberating it. Everyone will hate them. They'll hate us. Um, so let's loot. I think our men have earned this. And... Yeah, I'm quite happy to leave that as a dry dock for our... Yeah, there we go. The Ottoman Empire dead. video so that doesn't even add an awful lot of money to us because it's so poor it's going to be super rebellious because it's a capital capital building in this map in this game are so rebellious if you try and hold them um i'm not tempted to uh, and it's red replenishment as well it's just no point really hanging around here a couple of traditional universities i suppose we could have tried to steal a few technologies off them before the end but i didn't Right, I have no intention of hanging on to this, so Greece, would you like Umelia in exchange for 1,000? Okay, so they're not in the buyer's market. Okay, fine. I was, I w I'm not surprised we have to persuade them to do it. That's fine, we can give them a couple of uh, technologies. Oh. No, that's it, that has done it, yeah, it has. Yeah, okay, Greece have taken it. Um, I'm happy to give them technologies because they're our ally. Right, now let's bring in the march back to Vienna because I'm going to update this army with some... Actually, it's mostly up to date. I'm happy with it for the most part. Anything I think I will give them is... I'll get rid of this six-pound and replace it with 12. And cap out... Oh, no, if we, yeah, if we get... Oh, I might get rid of this Jaeger unit. I don't really care for Jaegers. So what we'll do... Take that out. Two 12-pounders in there and two line infantry, and I'll be happy with this army, I think. And look at all this money we have to play with as well. So good. And we can actually build in these regions because they're secure now. Um, and this will not be too rebellious for the Greeks, hopefully. I think once they repair the buildings, everything will be under control. If they can report, repair the Court of Justice and the, the Tudor Gardens, they'll have no problems. And they've got two universities to go then. So, yeah, now we've got these trade nodes all um, for us, <laughs> all for the taking. So let's let's go sit on them. Let's go take them. Um, have we got any more yet? No, we've got a militia unit. That's good. Still getting some. These are the only two ports that we can recruit trade ships, so that's, we're doing it the fastest we can. Um, yeah, giving them... Uh, Istanbul means that they're going to get some wealth from it and we're going to get that as they are our protectorate so we will indirectly get the money from Istanbul and that's it, that's the Ottomans dealt with so we don't have to worry about the navies here if we can capitalise on all of these first we'll be the ones to own all the trade on this side of the map and let's see what other buildings there are to do, let's get that oh, we could even build yeah we could build this thing, what does it do? Well, mind you, 3% bonus attacks rate. Oh, no, that's good. Do we want the Great Arsenal? What's like our late game cannon buildings like? Okay. 
Okay, we never get higher than 12 pounders. We can get some experimental howitzers. Okay. <gasps> we could... Yeah, think of all the things we could do. We could start building amazing roads. No, my policy is get the most expensive buildings done while you can. Um, so we'll do that. We'll do a court of justice in there. And court of justice. Court of appeals. In... Venice. They've still got 2,000 to play with. Maybe I'll look at the army here first. Right, so that's these guys. So we need... We're getting three units here. I'm going to start sending these guys north now, anyway. So they're good, and they, they might be needed in a pinch. We have these cannons here to join them there, and then these units will come and support. We now have... Johan von Ostreich able to head back. So let's have him head back to Vienna. And I don't think I need to update his army. He's fine. And we also have Archduke Charles who, yes, he's over here. We didn't get a tactical retreat to shoot us off, so that's fine. Alright. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, go. Keep sneezing. Right. So now that that is dealt with, let's just hopefully assume that that is this front secure, and let's just hope that Russia are chill now. They're not going to hate us. They got a little bit out of that war. They got Jassy for themselves. And if we had to give up Galicia to appease them, that's not awful because. Um, We've, we're getting a lot of substitute money through these provinces here and new trade, so it would be terrible. Um, we'll think about it soon. I think it's if, if, if our relationships start getting less than friendly, we'll start thinking about doing that. And... Yeah, let, let me think. What was I going to recruit into uh, Carl's army? I was going to get two cannons... To infantry. Okay, let's get that done. One, two. Okay, we've got the cannon started. That's fine. And, oh man, I can't believe that we are actually kind of at peace for now in this part of the world. I would like to get a navy built up as well. Slowly. It will take a while, but we've got two recruitment slots now. We're way off getting, way off getting an upgrade and getting the third, but yeah, if we get two ships well, over, over time, might get a navy that can compete. And then we could just... We might even want to be able to just push through and sail all the way over here and eat France from behind. Look, this army coming up to reinforce... Oh, look at, all the, look at this defence we've got going on over here at Saxony. We're really doing well holding off France there. Got one army, two army, three army, four. Four armies, potentially. Once we get two armies up there, I'm tempted to send a couple and try and... Put into plan, put into action some of our plans to liberate, like the Papacy, give that to Italy, Switzerland, and Stuttgart. Yeah, that's right. The order was Stuttgart and Switzerland, and then once that's done, take Rome, trade that for t Innsbruck because then they'll have no way in anymore. So that might be the way. Because while they've got some armies here, they've got some here. This will be a tough fight, for example. This will be a horrible fight. But if we did push through and take Stuttgart with these two armies over here, um, that'll be a you know then that'll be a protector. We could even try Hessen Castle, and well, maybe not. But I'd certainly liberate that, and then we could try for Switzerland. And if those are done. Like, that will be this front even more secure, and it will knock off a few regions because they've taken Cleves and Hessen Castle, which has given them two regions. So, if we can try and equalize it, like, even that out a bit, that would be good. Ah, oh, but look at that, guys. Just this part of the map is secure for now, at least. We can throw all our resources over this direction now. Uh, I think all our protectors over here like us, friendly. They should definitely like us now after all that. 
Greeks. We've just given them uh, Istanbul. And yeah, peace, peace, peace. And we're going to capitalize on this trade now. Um, these guys can't reach us, so that's good. Yeah, we've, we've capitalized a lot of the trade. Mon monopolized, I should say, uh, a lot of the trade uh, in the Mediterranean and the Aegean and the um, Black Sea. So we're going to send one onto there to get some coffee, one on there to get some coffee, and get some furs over here. They're not the most valuable things in the world, but yeah, rather that, rather us than someone else. So yeah, anyway, that's that, guys. I'm going to end the episode there. Join me next time when we now move all our attentions westward and form a plan to liberate some of these regions here and bring them under Austrian influence and fortify a position around Dresden to ensure that Napoleon can't find a way in through the north because this is still a very critical area uh, where he could do some serious damage to us so plenty to play for so don't miss any of it guys i'll catch you in the next one take care